Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First things first, I cut my hair and I'm loving it. I like can't stop looking at it in the viewfinder. It's so cute and just sassy. My good friend Brenna cuts hair and so I always go to her. She's freaking great. She just always knows what I want. So I'm super excited. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to Hawaii in like 10 10 days so it's gonna be perfect and sure and I'm gonna get some blonde in it hopefully and it's gonna be really awesome so I'm really loving my hair so if I'm like playing with it or like looking somewhere else throughout the video that would be okay because I'm like obsessed with myself right now and I can't stop looking at my hair because I just love it it's so cute anywho so for today's video I thought in honor of Pantone's color of 2019 being living coral we would do some sort of coral makeup tutorial for you guys so that's what we're gonna do today I don't really know how this is gonna plan out I just pulled out all my coral colors and they're sitting in front of me so I'm just gonna like you know kind of mix around find something I don't really know if this is gonna be like a smoky eye or what or like are we gonna do a round edge, a sharp edge? Are we gonna do a wing eyeliner? Are we gonna wear false eyelashes? Are we gonna keep the eyes subtle and do a coral lip and a coral cheek? I don't really, I'm not really sure. I think I'm feeling coral cheeks and coral eyes, but like a nude lip. You know? I don't know. Anywho, so that's what we're doing today. So we're just gonna jump right in. Not that I actually know what I'm doing yet. We're just gonna play around, chit chat, and hang out and do makeup. So I hate tucking my hair behind my ears because I hate my ears. My hairs have been this size since I was like five. So I had huge ears growing up and it was so annoying and I still feel like they stick out. Like it's something I'm just so insecure about. I still feel like my ears are just like dumbo and like, see like in the viewfinder I can't stand this ear being and again, I want you to see all my hair because it's cute and short. Okay, so we're going to start with the eyes today. So first things first, we're going to prime the eyes. And in my last video, I used concealer. Are we going to do that today? Are we going to use a primer? Hmm, I don't know. I usually like doing the um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil when I'm doing some color. But I think we're just going to stick with some concealer today. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade... 10 fair because I am white hopefully me going to Hawaii in 10 days is gonna change that um, I'm so excited I'm gonna bring my camera along I don't think I'm necessarily gonna video everything but I'm definitely gonna take a bunch of pictures we're surfing we're gonna go snorkeling with whales because it's whale season in Hawaii right now um, what else are we doing that's fun oh we're going to go blue out it's me, my mom, my dad, my sister, my sister's boyfriend, and my boyfriend. We're all going, and um, the four of us have been, but both of me and my sister's boyfriends have never been to Hawaii, so it's going to be so much fun to take them and show them Hawaii, because I love Hawaii. This will be my third time there now, and it's just great. We're going to Maui, so if you guys know of any cool things to do on Maui, let me know. Good places to eat. We really love Aloha Mixed Plate. That was one of our favorites last time we went to Maui, was Aloha Mixed Plate. Okay, so now that I got that blend in, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And this is the Matte and Poreless. And I just realized the other day, I was watching Jaclyn Hill's drugstore video, and I just realized that there's two different types of this powder. And one's for dry skin and one's for oily. And I've been using the one for oily skin, even though I have, like, alligator dry skin. So, really need to go get the one for dry skin. I just realized that the other day that there's a little something on the front of it when I watched her video that says, this one says Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily. And I'm like bitch I'm dry like I have the driest skin ever it's so annoying like I literally have alligator dry skin it's great so we're just gonna set my eyes with that you always want to set your eyes with powder after your primer that way the eyeshadow blends easily and I think since this is like a peachy corally eye look um, a lot of the colors that I am going to be using today are actually blushes because I don't have a lot of coral eyeshadows. Honestly, I have. Like, let's see. Um, I have this Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette that I really love and have actually like never really used. 
these like a lot of these colors I've never touched I've just swatched so I think I'm gonna use a little bit of this orange shade right here and maybe like this duchess shade because that looks like it's like a peachy this reflection shade looks peachy too this one right here lily is actually super cool it's a duochrome I think that's what it's called I hope so it's like two different shades it's like purple and white it's really cool I love that color I'm looking for something to do with that color so I think we're gonna use some of those shadows and then I also have the tardiest blush palette and I think we're just gonna use like this blush for some of the coral today and mm, some more blushes my morphe 35b palette which is just all the colors of the rainbow so I think we're gonna use some of the orange ones this is a really nice peach and the, ooh, this is a really nice peachy coral shimmer shade let's see how this swatches this is really pretty hold on let's Ooh, oh we're definitely using that on our eyes today that's gorgeous and I barely even touched it crap I forgot to bring makeup wipes in here I always forget something when I sit down in a film because I always like to have a towel with me to like wipe off my hand I always like to bring q-tips chapstick I always forget to wet my beauty sponges beforehand and I always forget to grab makeup wipes so that's awesome Anywho, so to start off with this look, we're going to go into the beauty counter. What is this? I don't even really know what this is, honestly. This is just a beauty counter eyeshadow palette. You can purchase this with my link in the description box. Super gorgeous. A very basic, everyday palette. We're going to take the color Soft Peach. We're going to use... Hold on. I haven't even grabbed my brushes yet. I'm so all over the place today. It's ridiculous. Oh, and I didn't wash my brushes from the last time I filmed, so now they're all disgusting and dirty and brown. I love myself. Okay, so I hope this brush does the trick. This is just the brush that comes in the Naked palettes. I don't know, it looks like it's like a nice crease brush. I usually use this brush. This is my favorite crease brush ever, but it's got brown all over it from my sultry, smoky, smoky eye thingy. And I didn't clean my brushes, so... <laughs> We're going to use this and take the color Soft Peach from that Beauty Counter palette. And as always, I like to have a hand mirror when I'm doing eyeshadow. Just I feel like it helps me because the mirror's so far away that I can't see what I'm doing really. So we're just going to blend this shade in the crease of our eye. It's like barely darker than my skin tone because I'm white AF. Um, so we're just going to use this as a transition shade. Oh my god, you guys. I found this girl on YouTube. So basically, my boyfriend's written the army. He swears in on Thursday. So, I've been dealing with that. It's been difficult. Um, but I found this girl on YouTube because I was watching a bunch of like military wife Q&As and all these kinds of things. And I found this girl, you guys. Her name is Cami Carter. I think we're best friends. I actually think we're like soulmates. Like best friend wise. Like it's just ridiculous. Like... How much we have in common I feel like at least from what I get from her videos like she does makeup I just oh my god she does makeup um, her wedding was the same color I want mine we wore the same dress well we didn't wear the same dress she wore the dress that I want to wear pretty much she puzzles you guys and like I'm new into puzzling we just finished I'll insert a picture but we just finished this really beautiful a thousand piece the Wizard of Oz puzzle and now I'm working on a Little Mermaid puzzle and she puzzles. I literally think we're the same person. Anywho, that was just my rant of the day. Back to what I was doing. Just gonna thread this in my crease. Being super, super sloppy about it. Um, because I, this color doesn't even need to be like, um, you don't really need to be like technical with this color. You can literally just throw this on your eye any which way you want. It just works as a base for all the other shadows. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> so this is the Morphe 35B, I was correct, palette. I love this palette. I really want to work with this yellow shade sometime because look at how vibrant that is. We're going to stick with like this whole row right here today. So we're going to start, I think we're going to use that same brush because I'm just dirty and I don't like using different brushes. <laughs> We're going to start with that same brush and we're going to take a little bit of the pinky peach and a little bit of the orangey peach. Just like dab those together, tap off the 
excess. I hate that word. Excess. Top off the excess. That word just pisses me off, honestly. And we're gonna go in and put this in our crease as our crease killer. Also, if you guys hear the TV in the background, it's because I'm watching Say Us to the Dress, because I always watch Say Us to the Dress when I film, because like, Say Us to the Dress? Duh. Okay. I got a solid orange base. I'm gonna take this on my lid too. I'm not gonna change presses. I'm just gonna use this. Put it all over my lid. Sorry, I had an itch on my nose. It looked like I was picking my nose. I wasn't. I had an itch. Okay, am I the only one that gets pimples in their nose? Because if I am, I feel really weird, but I feel like I get pimples in my nose all the time. Also, my skin's doing better! Honestly, like, this side is definitely still not living its best, but, like, it's getting better. And this side, honestly, it looks really good, except for this guy. This guy just popped up, like, yesterday, so I'm putting some acne treatment on it tonight. Hopefully it'll go away in time for Hawaii, because I'm trying to look cute in all my pictures. I'm just, honestly, I'm so excited, you guys. We booked this in... August, I want to say. Yeah, it was like the first week of August that we booked this. Yeah, because I gave it to my boyfriend for his birthday. Mm -hmm. Booked this in August, so it's been a long time. And it's really overdue, and I'm just so stressed out right now that I feel like this is going to be such a nice break from just stress. Because like, like I said, my boyfriend's joining the army. I'm unemployed. Like, everything is just so stressful right now. So I'm really excited to just kind of get away and hang out with my family and have fun and sit in the sun and swim. If you know me personally, you know like the ocean is literally my favorite thing in this whole world. Sharks are my favorite animal, hence the tattoo. Um, last time we were in Hawaii, we swam with sharks. So that, I mean, we didn't necessarily swim with them. We cage dived with sharks. It was really awesome. But if anyone who knows me knows, I'm so passionate about the ocean and I'm all about like not using single-use plastics and stuff like that because I know how polluted our oceans are and I'm just so excited to go get some time in the warm ocean because where I live you can't swim in the ocean here you'll fucking freeze so I'm so excited okay so I think we're just gonna be seriously use the same brush <laughs> now we're gonna go in with the shade below the orange we were just using which is the actual peach but I'm also going to dip into some red because I want to make it like a dark, like a dark peach because I want to darken up the other corners of this a little bit. So where the hell, oh, it's in my lap. Sometimes I surprise myself with my stupidity, honestly. So I'm just going to stick this in the outer corner. So I want to do like a halo eye, I think. So we're going to put this in the outer corner and the inner corner, which I know is weird. Putting darker shades in your inner corner, but it's gonna look really good, you guys, I promise. So we're just gonna do that. A little bit on the inner side. So now I'm gonna find the brush. If I have one. I mean this one works. I just feel like this is so large and in charge <laughs> for what I want to do. <laughs> we'll use its baby sister, because I have that one too. This has a little bit of color on it, of course, because I'm disgusting. I haven't washed my brushes in a while. <laughs> and we're going to go back in with the peach, like the light pink peach and the orangey peach. And we're just going to use this at the top half of our eye. Let's smoke this out. I think I know what we're gonna do I want something about me wants to deepen the creases up more just like a pinch like not too much just a just a pinch you know just a pinch so we're gonna use same palette of course we're gonna use the red shade in here mostly red literally like all red and then we're gonna take like oh this scares me the tiniest bit of black back into the red because I want like a really deep orange but I feel like that's not a thing like I don't have one of those 
So hopefully this works out. If not, I'm gonna be really mad. Ooh, okay. I can get in it. I can get in it. Maybe there's a little too much black, but we can fix. Okay, actually, honestly, no, that looks good. And just a tiny bit in the inner mount. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the lid and we're gonna take the Morphe 35B palette as well. Heck, I feel like my lighting just got worse. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna take this palette and we're gonna take this color right here, a very shimmery, peachy, orange color. I feel like I've said peach 500 times in this video. Drinking game. Every time I say peach, take a shot. Just a thought. Okay. You know, let me find a brush. Okay, so we're just gonna take a flat packing brush. Nothing on it. Oh my god, the first brush we found that's clean. <laughs> I hate myself. And we're gonna take this color. And honestly, I think we might be using this color with our finger, but we're gonna try a brush first. Benefit of the doubt. And, um, yeah, we're gonna need a finger. <laughs> so, <laughs> taking that on my finger, like so. Yes. Why do your fingers apply so much better than brushes when it comes to shimmers? I actually don't understand the science behind that. If someone can explain it to me, that'd be great. So, we're gonna take this brush. More of that orange. I swear to God, every single time I say orange or peach, down the hatchet. Um, we're gonna blend this out just a tiny bit. We want it to stand out, but not too much. So now it's more blended in with the rest of the eyeshadow. So we're going to take this is the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass palette, and the color is called Paradox. I've been dying to use this color ever since I got this palette because orange is my favorite color. We're going to use our pinky this time, because last time we used our ring finger, and we want this to be smaller. Like, we still want to see the shimmery peach. We just want it to look brighter in the center. So we're going to use our pinky finger. And, again, just stick that on the center of the eye. I hope this works. But last but not least, for the eyes, well, for the top part of our eyes, we still have to do our lower lash line. We are going to think. I actually... Think I want to do something a tiny bit different. I think I want to take some eyeshadow primer. I know this sounds weird to put liquids on top of powders because they teach you not to. But I think we're going to take a little bit of eyeshadow primer. So we're going to use the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer Low Wand so we can get some easy application. And then making sure that there's like, there's some primer on the stick but there's not too much. So we don't want this to be hard we just want this to be like a little bit primer and we're literally just going to dot that on the center most and we're going to get a small brush and we're going to use the shade fortune from the highlighter palette it is just the white white as snow highlighter and we're going to tap this right over that primer beautiful oh my god i love it okay now we finally get to move on to our face oh my gosh i feel like our eyes took forever today so the first thing we're going to do is highlight i love using a liquid highlighter under my foundation it's my favorite things to do i'm gonna wipe off my fingers to make sure i don't have any more eyeshadow because that would be lovely if i just wipe peach eyeshadow i need to stop saying the word peach it's driving me crazy okay these are bomb Literally, I think these are $10 at the drugstore. L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. So good, you guys. So good. So I have the shades 901 and 902. So we're going to take both. Because we're just that kind of girl. And we're going to take a little bit of 902, which is the darker one. Because I am white. I am so excited for Hawaii. I'm going to take these to Hawaii. And I'm just going to like drench my body in this stuff. And then lay out in the sun. Like putting this on my shoulders, on my collarbones. Like... I'm probably gonna burn though, so that should be interesting. And then we're gonna take the 901 too. Oh, yeah, not 
I'm going to take more of the light one because I am lighter. And I kind of use this like the primer, even though it's supposed to be a liquid highlighter. I will literally just use this as a primer because I love the way it makes my face look. So it might look weird at first, especially with all the pimples I have. It's definitely going to look strange. I look like I'm just sweating to the gods when I do this. But I love the way it looks when you... No! So sorry about that. Um, my light died. But the charger for my light is six inches long. So I had to go borrow an extension cord from my dad. So we're back. Doing the face. Picking up right where we left off. We are, um, so we just finished rubbing in the primer. Highlighter thing. It's really a highlighter, not a primer. So I'm going to move on to a foundation. I'm going to use the True Match Lumi, and usually I mix this with the darker one, but I looked at some of the videos and I think it's a little bit too dark when I do that. So we're just going to stick with this today. I might even throw in some of the Beauty Counter Tint Skin, because um, this is even lighter. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi W1-2. Okay. And I think today we're going to take a different route with our foundation. Usually we use the beauty sponge, but today I kind of want to try using a brush because I remember a long time ago, back when Jaclyn Hill was like a smaller YouTuber, like just a few hundred thousand subscribers, she used to use this flat top synthetic kombuki brush from like Sigma or something and I thought it was, always thought it was like, oh my god, it's so cool. But I remember that was like the trend back then. And I want to see if it actually works. I actually never got a chance to try it back when it was a trend because I was like 12. And I didn't really wear foundation. So I think we're going to try it today, honestly. I have a brush that I think would work for it. So we're going to try it. So this doesn't even have a name on it, but it is literally just a round, like flat brush. So I think we're just going to... Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this yet. I might do the other side of my face with the sponge. Well, actually, it's not horrible. It's not bad. I don't know why this trend ever, like, died out, honestly. It's not bad. I think I like the beauty sponge more because it gives, like, such a flawless, like... What is the word I'm looking for? Like a texture. When it's done, this almost leaves the blush strokes. So it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> but I think we're gonna go in with our beauty sponge and finish the rest of our face. Yeah. Cause like this just gives such a flawless finish, but the brush, like the hairs on the brush, I feel like just leaves such a mark. You know? Oh, anywho, so I'm going in with the Maybelline Femi Concealer. I love this concealer from the drugstore. Um, the only thing I'm not huge about it on is that it does crease on me. I think it's just my under eyes. I mean, obviously, we're never going to find a concealer that doesn't crease whatsoever. There's going to be a little creasing. That's just how under eye wrinkles work. It's just a thing. People need to get used to it. My eyes, they're going to crease. Okay? Like, it's just, it's normal. Um, so that's the only thing I don't like about it, is that it creased on me. I used to use this concealer, like, when I was, like, 14, 15, for the longest time, but I had an issue with it burning my eyes. Like, I remember very vividly, I would use this concealer, and it would burn my eyes so bad that I had to wipe it off. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping that maybe they can change their formula, because it doesn't burn me anymore, so I'm assuming that that's what happened. Because I remember this concealer used to... Burn! Like a bitch. Like a bitch. So, um, I'm actually out. I'm pretty sure I'm like finally completely out of my beauty counter powder. So we are going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. The one we used earlier. We're going to use just a Best I I don't even know this brand. I think it's from Amazon. Brush 
to really set our under eyes because like like I said all eyes crease it's normal but we want to stop the creasing as much as we possibly can I don't want my face to necessarily look matte I just want to set it <laughs> and I can't believe I'm so dumb and I've been using a powder made for oily skin for years you guys I've used this powder for years okay so so we're gonna take a very small brush and hold on hold on hold on we're gonna take the red and a tiny bit of black like we did for the corners of our eyes and we're gonna put it on the outer corner and we're gonna put some of it and we're gonna put some of it in the inner corner too Following suit of the upper eye, we are going to take the lightest shades and put them in the middle of our lower lash line. So, we're going to take a flat brush. We're going to go in with the Kichi, the first shimmer we put down. And we're going to do this in the center of our eye. We're going to skip the orange shade that we did in between and we're going to go straight to the white highlight. Where did it go? Oh, it was right there. Alright, I'm done. Take that on this brush again. We're not going to do the primer this time. I don't think. I don't think we are, but we might. We're just going to put that in the middle. Um, I actually think we are going to use the primer. Okay. I'm actually going to take a brush and I'll just try to do it with the wand this time. I'm going to take a brush and wipe some of it onto the brush. That way I have a little bit more control because the brush is easier to control for me than the wand and the wand is bigger. So taking a little bit on the brush, putting it right in the middle, going back into the highlighter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that makes such a difference. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the face. Yeah. I really liked bronze first. We're gonna use the Beauty Counter Radiant Bronzer. Again, you can buy this from me. My link is always in the description. It's just www.beautycounter.com forward slash Kelsey Olson. And we're gonna use this to warm up our entire face. Make us look a little bit more tan than we actually are because we're white, like I've said before. We're so white. Warming up my nose a little bit. I always feel like my nose is too white. Like when I look back at these videos, I feel like my nose is way too white. So we went with a little extra today. And then like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of contour. I like to just bronze. So we're just going to stick the bronzer down my neck. Get that jawline. We are going to take the Tarte Tardiest Blush Palette. I think this was from the Holiday Collection like years ago. Hold on, I have a hair on my nose. Okay, got it. I'm pretty sure this was a Holiday Collection from years ago. And the shades are Live, Laugh, Love, and Dream, which I love. So we're going to take the shade Live. It's just a bright coral. I got a bright kinky coral. Not too much, because I don't want it to counteract the eyes. I want it to complement the eyes. Okay, so last thing for the face, we're going to go in with highlighter. So this is the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean collection. We'll stand by these highlighters for the rest of my life. They're bomb. So we're going to be using the shades Fortune, Destined, and Star Reader all mixed together on this beauty counter. Um, they call this a blush brush, but I mean, y'all, do you see the size of this brush compared to my cheeks? It's tiny. So we're using this as a highlighter brush. And we're just going to drag that all over our cheekbones. So, like I was trying to say, we're not going to do falsies today because I'm just not in the mood. Nor do I have the time or the patience for that right now. So we're just going to curl our eyelashes and throw on some mascara. Okay. So now that we have eyelashes and we look a thousand percent more alive, we are going to do some brows off of camera and I will be right back. 
Okay, so now we are back and we have the brows on, which are looking good today, if I don't say so myself. Um, I always struggle with my brows. My brows are such a struggle. I shaved my eyebrows when I was 13. I think I already said this, but I shaved my eyebrows when I was 13. And they still haven't grown back yet. So, my eyebrows are a daily, daily struggle. So, I'm happy that they are looking good today at, you know... 11.35 at night when I'm just gonna wash this off when I don't need them to look good they look good it's always great so last things last we are going to um, put on some lipstick but I am torn do I want to do coral to go with the theme or do I want to do something understated and do a nude I just don't know so I think we're going to take the Milani, Milani, sorry, not Milani. We're going to take the Milani lipstick in shade 26 Nude Cream. This was my diehard lipstick when I was 14. And it is still one of the best colors at the drugstore. And honestly, Milani's formula, best formula from the drugstore, honestly. Okay, so now that we are done with that, we are finished with this look. My camera is flashing at me because it is going to die. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. I am so excited that this is the color of 2019 because I am living for coral, peachy, oranges. Orange is always been my favorite color, so I love this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. But, um, I think that is it, and I will see you guys next time.